guys. Um, I'm back now to do the second part of a video that was upon um, that we did on um, Lancaster, Kirby Lonsdale Way, in the most amazing scenery. Um, I've been looking forward to doing um, the video on this one. I've just brought some fish up now. Um, the first fish that are going to go in the pond, as you'll see. Um, the filters have been, everything's been running now for about two weeks. So the media's still rising high and stuff like that. So we'll have a quick look at that. But it is, they've done a fantastic job. I mean, we did the install on the filters for it. Um, but the guys here, they, they've got a kitchen company here and, and they've done it all. It's a family business and, you know, from father, son, grandson, they've all been involved in it and they've just done an amazing job, really. Um, you know, it's been following the instructions down and it's been, it's just been great. So, but the pond, it's a strange one. It looks so different from where I'm standing now to where as you walk up to the pond. So you, you'll see it in a minute. What I'll do is I'll just do a bit of a pan on the outside of the pond now and you can see how good it's going to look. I mean, this is, you've got the house behind me there. And then, so in a minute, I'll just turn it back round and then you can see the pond. So the pond is five and a half thousand gallons. Um, got a nice cat there. Hello. I know, I know it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. So the pond is five meters internal by three meters by five feet deep. So it gives around about five and a half thousand gallons, something like that. So one bottom drain going into a Nexus 320 um, and then a skimmer um, that's feeding a 24 inch K1 micro bead. So which will be absolutely plenty for this pond. Um, we've got four returns, one in each corner. So dead simple. Dead simple. I think I went through the returns on the on the other video, which I'll link to this video. I'll put it up on the top so you can have a look at that first. I'll put it at the beginning, um, and then you can have a look. But the scenery here is just—it's amazing, amazing old farmhouse style. Um, but they run the business from here and everything like that. So it is. Anyway, no more boring talk. I'll um, I'll put it round. And there we are. Absolutely amazing. You've got the nice patio area down here. So this is where they're gonna put some nice tables and chairs and stuff like that. And then you can have a barbecue in the corner. Um, and then you've got the window backdrop behind, which is, you know, it's a big window, so it's gonna look great. Um, but yes, but it, that's what I'm saying. The stairs, they've just got the stop, top stair to do. Um, but it does, it looks absolutely amazing. They've finished it off with the clad, which is beautiful. I'll try and get the name of it. Now, as you can see up on this side, you can actually just come up onto this grassed area and just look in on the over on the other side and it'll look great um, but then if we go up onto the <laughs> there's the old pond so we've gone from that to this guys look at that how good does that look Look at the views. Oh, this is where you want a pond. Fields of sheep and cows, and in the middle of nowhere, fantastic. As you can see there, that the drain there is coming on really well. There's going to be a lot of flow in here, so you've got the the returns. Um, again, have a look in the other video, but there's four: two running from the Nexus, two running from the bead via the skimmer. Um, coming back in through a 19 kilowatt air source heat pump which is now currently keeping the pond at a lovely 16 degrees so there's from the skimmer um, going into the bead which is running on a 20,000 vary pump which at the moment is set at 90% which is great as you can see the media hasn't dropped yet it won't be buoyant it, you know it's still very buoyant because there's no fish in here there's nothing in there but it's still amazing how much muck that you'll get in the bottom of the nexus so but yeah now the fish they're in now the fish are coming in they're um they're gonna you know they'll start getting the media in i mean the, the amount of fish i've only brought i think i brought 16 small fish up um but you know they're not really going to make a dent in the system um if we go around here there's the four inch from the drain coming in. Got all the drain in, in the filter house as well, which yeah, I love when that's there because the waste just goes straight in. It's coming out on the two returns um, and then through the Evo 110. The Nexus is run on a 10,000 vary pump, which at current is set at 80. Um, now, what I've just explained to the owner is that 
once the fish go in and the media starts to settle down is that there's two levels in the nexus so you've got the inner level the outer level so as long as them two stay at the same level you know that it's all right now if the outer chamber starts going down fast and you've got like quite a big gap between the outer and the inner chamber then you put in the pump too fast so with this being a 10,000 it isn't going to go through too fast I don't think because it's you know your, your nexus is made for 10,000 litres an hour so it'll take the both and by the time you've got the return lines in there and a few elbows and stuff like that then you know it's going to it won't be pumping 10,000 litres an hour but yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put um keep going back to that view what I'm going to use on this pond today is a pond bomb one of the evolution aquas one of the um, pure pond range and what we'll do is we'll just get that I always remember with the bombs people I, mean, I think most people do but you need to put all the juice in and the bomb. So let's just take that off. There. So what I'll do is I'll just simply plop it in. That in under there. And that's it. Give that a little bit rinse out. Get all the bacteria in because the, the liquid in there as well is just as important. So get all that put in. Now that's live bacteria going into the filter. So now with the new fish going in, I would imagine that this um, media will start to sink in about three or four days. You'll see a big difference. It's running on a 95. Um, so you can't see the air moving too much. see it moving there, but like I say, it's just how it's gonna be. Turn that down a little bit. It's a good thing with the next as well. You can regulate your air from the valve coming in. a little bit better now and still got a nice little bubble coming up in the pond so that's that i say the bead's brand new like i say it's been running about two weeks but yeah absolutely amazing so what we'll do is we'll um the fish have been floating now the temperature's around about the same as it was when it was coming from the shop and we'll get them in but as you can see as well you can walk around the pond And that's another viewing side of it as well. Scenery all the way around it. What a beautiful pond. So what we'll do is we'll have a quick look at the fish going in and then I'll get a bit of an underwater shot, I think. First one in. Yeah. You should love it in there. I would have thought so, yeah. They need at least, I think you need about another 6,000 fish in here. I know. <laughs> I might know somebody who can help you. <laughs> All right, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
look a little bit lost. Oh, they will, mate. They will. Yeah. They will look a little bit lost. Yeah, never to be seen again. Mm. Yeah, I've just altered it a little bit. They're up this side, I think. Swimming around the outside. So you enjoyed this pond, it really is good. I just wanted to just go through as well how they've done the corners. I mean, all the water, all the corners are done, look great. And that was just um, that was just block stood up on its side and then you put the king span over the top of it. Yeah. 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 So some blocks just stood up on the sides into the corners. But the corners are absolutely amazing, really. I think it looks better when they've got the stone cut as well round there. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. But spin round again, what a view. So there it is, a five and a half thousand gallon pond running on a Nexus 320 and a 24 inch K1 micro bead. Just brought some fish up there now, which will get lost. But luckily for us, we have a lot more for you to come and buy, Brian. So there you go. Oh, yeah. We'll be down. We'll be down. <laughs> yeah. So, but they're looking well. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's it. So we're five meters, three meters, 1.5, well, five feet deep, um, giving us five and a half thousand gallons. Heated on a 19 kilowatt air source heat pump. And that's it. But what a pond, what a view. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Give us a um, thumbs up if you like it and um, subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much.